So there's many ways that you can tie in to go rock climbing, but you really shouldn't do many ways to tie in. There's only a couple of ways that are really safe to tie in, and there's only one way that's recommended to tie in by the AMGA. That's the American Mountain Guide Association. Let me show you some of the simplest ways to tie in using the figure eight. So the first thing you need to do to tie a figure eight is to take up a bite of rope. And this is a bite of rope. Okay, so take up a bite of rope. You need to make sure your tail is long enough. Now it's better to have too long of a tail than not enough tail, but you still want to get it in that sweet spot. So now that you know how to grab the rope, I'm going to teach you two different ways how to tie this figure eight. And the first way is a fun way. All right, maybe not the easiest way, but it's fun. All right, so you have your, your bite of rope. This is your bite of rope. Now, what does this look to you, look like to you guys? Oh, I'm gonna come and take over the world. <laughs> yeah, it looks like an alien head, right? Okay, so you don't want them to come over and take over the world. So what do you do? You grab your other end of the rope and say, you're not gonna take over the world, it's mine. And you choke them out and then punch them in the face. Now, you have your figure eight follow through. And yeah, that's a little bit of a story, but I bet you're not gonna forget it. Now, the simple way, and if you don't wanna sit there at the crag playing with your rope, ah, this is the other way to do it, okay? So, you have your bite of rope. Still looks like an alien head, doesn't it? All right, twist it once, twist it twice, now, if you see that this wrap that the tail is on is on the side, my side of the rope. So I'm gonna go away from me and up through that loop. Now I have the figure eight follow through. Now this isn't the end of the knot. You still have to wrap that around. So you're gonna take this now, you're gonna go around your harness and then follow this through just like this. Okay, so you wanna go through, make this loop nice and small. That'll help your harness with longevity. You get it pulled like that. Let's go ahead and tie the backup knot. Backup knots are really important. It's just the backup knot saved me from a lot of pain one day. Maybe not my life, but a lot of pain. Well guys, I hope that you really enjoyed this video and I hope that you've learned something. If you have learned something, go ahead and hit that like button below. It helps people find this video. Also, if you're new here, hit the subscribe button. These videos are gonna be coming out at random and I don't want you to miss anything. Now, I would love to hear what you guys thought about this. Maybe there's something that I could have done better or that you would like to see in the future. Go ahead and leave a comment below and I'll answer those myself and get back to you. See you next time. And do it. So, to tie the figure eight, you need to first take a bite of tail. Now, the tail is starting to lose it, so that means it's starting to be time to go to bed. Time to go to bed, son. You need to go to bed.